All right, so we're gonna look at another uh, different geometry application, and this one is involving right triangles. So a right triangle contains one right angle, all right? And remember that a right angle means that it has 90 degrees, which means that it's really just two perpendicular um, lines or line segments. Lines or line segments. When two perpendicular line or line segments meet. Okay, which means they have two slopes which are opposite signs and reciprocals of each other, right? So that's what we're trying to do. So what we wanna do is we wanna show that triangle ABC is a right triangle. So to do that, we need to find that two of these line segments, right? AB is a line segment, BC is a line segment, and AC is a line segment. So we need to show that two of those line segments are perpendicular, which means they have slopes that when you multiply them together, you get um, negative one, which means they have to have opposite signs, right? One has to be positive, one has to be negative, and then they have to be reciprocals of each other. So we're gonna go ahead to figure that out and just look at the slopes at all three of these line segments. So let's start first with the slope of AB. So I'm just gonna use that slope formula, right? M equals Y2 minus Y1 all over X2 minus X1. And then I'm gonna um, identify my variables. So I'm gonna call this one my x1 and this my y1 and this one's gonna be my x2 and this is gonna be my y2 and then plug it in. So we have y2 minus y1 is one all over x2 which is zero minus x1 is negative five equals three minus one is two. Those become positive, two fifths, all right. So the slope is two-fifths for the slope of AB. Now let's find the slope of AC. So for AC, this is already my X1, Y1, perfect. So I'm gonna call this my, we'll call this one my um, X3, Y3. And we will say that the slope equals Y3 minus Y1 all over X3 minus X1. And that's okay, we can do that. And so y3 is gonna be negative two minus y3, y1 is one, all over x3 is two, minus x1 is negative five. So uh, minus negative two minus one is equal to negative three. And then this is gonna be plus, two plus five is seven. Okay, so my slope is equal to negative three over seven. So these two have opposite signs, but they're definitely not reciprocal. So these ones are not, um, and you can see, right, in the picture, A, B, and A, C are not perpendicular. Okay, so lastly, let's go ahead and find the slope of B, C. Uh, so the slope is going to be, they're already de defined, right? So I'm gonna say Y3 minus Y2 all over X3 minus X2. Okay, can you see that? All right, y3 is negative two minus y2, which is three, all over x3 is two minus x2, which is zero. Negative two minus three is negative five. Two minus zero is two. Oh, that's not a two at all. What was I doing? Sometimes I do the weirdest things. I don't know why. Okay, so the slope is equal to negative five over two. Okay, so it looks here that we have two um, slopes that are perpendicular, right? They have opposite signs. This is positive, this is negative, and they're reciprocals, two fifths and five over two. And if you multiply those two together, you get negative one. So what we're gonna say is we're gonna say that line B is, AB is perpendicular to line BC Therefore, forming a right angle, which means triangle ABC is a right triangle. Perfect. 
And there's our lovely explanation. Okay, and that's how you do that particular problem. So now it is your turn, ladies and gentlemen, and I want you to show that ABC is a right triangle. So here's my friend, the pause dragon, reminding you to pause your device, go ahead and work out this problem. When you get done, press play, and we'll talk about it together. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, let's see how you did. So we are going to find the slope of each of these line segments, starting with AB. So I'm gonna call this my X1, this is my Y1, this is my X2, this is my Y2. If you called it something different, that's okay. It's all still gonna work out. If you don't get the same slope as I did at the end, then something um, went wrong. And so you'll have to go back and check your work. Um, so let's go Y2 minus Y1 all over X2 minus X1. Okay, y2 is negative 2, minus y1 is negative 1, all over x2 is negative 2, minus x1 is 2. So those become positive, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4, and a negative and a negative is a positive, so our slope ends up being 1 fourth. Four a b okay and that makes sense because we could just go up one over four one two three four and we get right there perfect okay let's try a c and i want you to show your work use the slope formula okay so uh a c i'm going to say okay this is my x1 y1 i'm going to call this my x3 i've already said x2 so this is going to be x3 y3 <coughs> excuse me okay so slope formula m equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Plug in the numbers. What are we doing? Wait, 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 wait. That's not right. We're doing ac, right? ac. Okay, that sneeze totally messed me up. Okay, so it's y3 and then x3. Okay, so y3 minus y1. So y3 is 2 minus y1 is negative 1 all over x3 is negative 3 minus x1 is two. And those two negatives become positive, two plus one is three, and then negative three minus two would be negative five, so our slope is right there, we can't reduce that. M equals negative three fifths, like so. Okay, then just the last one, BC, and this is x2, y2, that's x3, y3, so we're just gonna say M equals y3 minus y2 all over x3 minus x2 and substitute in the value. So y3 is 2 minus y2 is negative 2 all over x3 is negative 3 minus x2 which is negative 2. Okay, okay. Those two end up being positive so that's 2 plus 2 is 4 positive. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 1 so that ends up being m equals negative 1 fourth. Perfect. So it looks like the ones, why did I write that? What is, I swear there's something wrong inside my brain. It totally says four over one. Okay, so this is just four over one, just the same thing as four. So the, the slope is negative four, negative four. All right, so um, we're looking for opposite signs and reciprocals and we have it right here with these two uh, lines. One fourth, this is positive, this is negative, this is one fourth, and four, those are reciprocals to each other. So, so if you multiply those together, you get negative one. So what we can say is that, and if we look at them, BC and AB, they are perpen it, it's, um, perpendicular. I should have done that in this one here. Let me go ahead and I should have did that, but I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna say that um, BC Line segment BC is perpendicular, can you see that? To BC is perpendicular to AB. Therefore, forming a right angle, which means a, ooh, triangle, ABC, is a right triangle. All right, so if you got that right, yokarinkimashita, you did a wonderful job, and I will see you in a little bit for the next example.